So I'm just going to make out just an ordinary guy making a story about a viper. Right, he's gone, let's go. Oh, car coming. Oh, we got halfway. Right, they don't know what I'm doing. Oh, we did it. It's like the SAS manoeuvres today. What a video coming up. Right, where are you? Oh, I'm freezing. Hello, I'm Smithy. Thank you for clicking on the video, by the way. Uh, I, I always appreciate it. I appreciate all the comments you give me. So, I'm Smithy and this is a Contiki, as you're all aware. Uh, we've got some mail. What I wanted to do... Uh, I've actually forgotten my camera bag. Yeah. Oh. Anyway, we're on the 360 uh, GoPro. But there is a reason for that. And I, I made sure I brought that. But I had that much to do. It's Sunday today. So tomorrow, I kid you not, I'm going metal detecting on that beats that I said. I'm going to do it tomorrow. I've waited and waited and waited till we're allowed to do stuff. I've done nothing. Not to encourage anybody else to start doing things that you weren't allowed to do. You know, that's the reason why I've done what I've done. I did say I'd keep you entertained, so I've tried my best. Uh, I've been talking to Pippa online, you know, Worm's Eye View. Um, she put a you know video about a, a lad who does suffer a bit with uh, dermatitis, which I do, you know. And sometimes I get rashes under my eyes for some reason, which is it's all right today. Um, anyway... Uh, Caravan tastic. Um, obviously, I still have a caravan, so I'm in touch with quite a few people that have caravans because I'm still into caravanning. You know, I still have a caravan, although I've, I've not used it for a while. We've got the con ticking out. Um, they've nominated me and Susie for a, an eight question challenge. And uh, to be fair to Sue, obviously, Monday uh, it is the biggest day of the parks. You know, they've been shut, there's been nobody there, so they've been absolutely going ballistic trying to get everything ready for tomorrow. So, to be fair to Sue, I couldn't say after she's finished work and, you know, some nights it's been six and seven o'clock. I didn't want to say to her, you know, let's make this video. So, we are going to do the eight question challenge. It's just, I can't do it yet because tomorrow's Sue's big opening day and they've waited, as everybody has, you know, for the big, you know, the big reveal, if you will. So, that's why I haven't done that video. It's purely because I, I can't ask Sue because she's been working flat out that hard, you know. I've, I've been rubbing her feet when she comes home. So call me a liar like, but anyway, make her cups of coffee and whatever. Um, anyway, so, hey, the reason why I wanted this camera particularly is because I'm going to show you where I am in a minute, but I'm also going to take you somewhere else and show you why I bought that camera on this selfie stick. And this selfie stick, believe it or not, is... It just keeps going. It's, uh, it's actually three metres long. So I don't, you might not be able to see the whole thing, but anyway, so... You'll see why, uh, why I bought this stick, because it will turn that camera to look like it's a drone. Although, you know, I do have a drone. Um, I've got this, uh, obviously this, you know, smartwatch thing. It tells you your heart rate and your blood pressure and all kinds of stuff and how much sleep you've had. And so Alex from uh, uh, TT, he, I cut his sticker down because it was massive. Anyway, Alex. He does the airbrushing and all that, and uh, he's got a Talbot camper. He, he does a lot of exercises now with his watch, and my watch has got built-in GPS, so if I go for a walk, it'll show me a map of where I've been, and how far it was, and how long it took me, and how many steps it was. So this is what I'm, I'm getting into. Um, I've only started today, small steps, but I am going to go for a walk in a minute. I'm going to park on the bypass at Lancaster, and I'm going to walk. It's a fair old little walk I'm going to do. But then I'm, you'll see why I got the selfie stick, because I can video some things that I would not be able to video without that or a drone. And you could not use a drone in that area because obviously it's busy with traffic, the M6 is there, it's a busy junction, you would not use a drone there. But this comes into its own. And it was actually, um, I don't mind telling you about all the channels I watch, um, is uh, Paul Messner. Uh, he does a lot of outdoor bushcrafting and camping with his wife and uh, they've actually bought a, um, a van that they're converting into a camper and the way he speaks is just easy to listen to he's like uh, Van City Life, a Canadian that took, lives in his van and tours everywhere with his, with his dog Cruz is he called Chrome? I think he's called Chrome anyway, 
so I, I watch all these channels and uh, so Paul Mester he, he has one of these and he goes so this is why I wanted it anyway I will watch what but how you use it when you extend it I might put a little bit of music to it because I can I can't say anything to you because it, I, you're obviously going to be 12 foot long you know you're going to be 12 foot away from me so what you actually use your phone for the voice it doesn't matter if it's windy or not because you have to buy a special lead that goes from your your input to the uh, the, the thing I've got the Rode microphone the wireless mic so I can just hold the phone I'm talking to the Rode wireless mic that's going through the phone but clipped on there you know just talk and then I can sync the two together so that's the idea of that stick so I can have it at whatever distance I want and and anyway, you'll see in a bit why I, I, I do that so let me just open these and then uh, we'll get sorted out uh, who's it addressed to? Right, me. Oh, that's a nice card. Itchy feet caravanners. Uh, to Simon, Susie and the Furbies. Delight to send you one of our stickers. Hope you're keeping well. Hope to have a catch up with you guys in the future out and about. Right, exactly. Uh, keep making your fabulous videos. Thank you. I just, do you know what? I, I just have fun and people say to me, I just, listen, it's fun. And while it's fun, I'll keep doing it. So that's I just have a laugh, mate. Uh, stay safe and be lucky. I'll tell you what I am doing at the minute. I'm watching Lost on Amazon. Oh, I stayed up till five o'clock this morning watching it. I'm on series two, episode two. And uh, is it called The Drift? Anyway, that's what I'm into at the minute. <laughs> so I, I can't go anywhere. I just got to watch Lost. Uh, right. Uh, love, Joe, Mark, Ellis and Bella the Cat. Eat your feet, caravanners. Right, so you've given me your address, right? So, um, that's uh, Beetle Country, or the Beatles Country. I'll uh, I will send you a sticker. Uh, let's get each of you. Now then, I did say that we are running out of room on the uh, the old sticker wall. So let's put each of you caravan. Should we put you underneath there? Right, so you're underneath Andy from Many Fun Adventures and near Crafty Caravanners. They go a lot of mudlarking. Uh, Stein North, Roy and Becky's Travels. TT, it, it's Alex. Uh, Captain Jack Scrapper, we've got all sorts on here. Uh, Posh Cats Camping, Blake's Four on Tour. Rob and Anne's Gino de Camper van, I like that. Right, oh, sugar. Right, so, what else have we got? Smithy with the Contiki. I like that. Uh, Talbot Owners Club. I can't show you the front, it's got my address on. <coughs> Somebody might send me some uh, strange, weird and wonderful things. So what have we got? You sent me lots of things. So this is a waterproof, light resistant, soft tip for smooth marking. That's good that. That will come in handy for marking. Now you've sent me quite a lot of things here. So this is the front and rear, I see. So that is for your tyres, for your air pressures. So you write down whatever your air pressure is and then do they split off them into separate? Right, so you put them somewhere safe or stick them somewhere to remind you whenever you want what your pressure is uh, of your tyres. Now then, now that vehicle dimensions height, width and length is a fabulous idea. Now, I actually have one, and I have it as a sticker tape thing, taped underneath me, uh, you know, the speedo. So what I'm gonna do with that, I'm gonna give it to somebody that doesn't have that, that can then stick that somewhere in the van on the side of the window or whatever. So I'm gonna make use of that on your behalf, if you will. Uh, water fill point and flammable gas. I actually have both of them. Uh, so then again, I'll do the same. Uh, if somebody, uh, if I meet somebody, you know, that's obviously I've got a lot of friends that have got a lot of campers, and uh, if they don't have any of them, I'll, I'll say, look, I've got these things. You can have some, or you can have them. Uh, right. How do uh, Talbot Owners Club? Do you know my first camper was it a Talbot? I think I had the Talbot high top, and my uncle had the Talbot, which was a low top. So I had the one where I had a bunker upstairs, you know, like this has. And we unclad the low one. So we've got that, and we've got the Talbot Owners Club. So I'm, I'm actually a member of their club on Facebook. Uh, because you get hints and tips from all these sites, you know, and, and 
they let me put my links to my videos even though I'm in a swift contiki because a lot of what I'm doing just relates to van life not that it's just about a swift contiki because it isn't you can cook what I cook in any type of a van uh, I need my glasses I'm going to try and peel it off right so I'm going to stick this one on the uh, on the sticker wall right so we'll stick you next to Robin Ange Gino de Camper van right so, uh, that one, I'm going to put with all the rest in my drawer, because, not that drawer, yeah, in there, because I've got, well, I'll put them in, I don't want to lose them, I'll leave them in this envelope, right, so I'm going to give them some with it, so I can make use of them, and the pen, I'll keep the pen, they're not getting the pen, no, I'll let them write the, net, the things down with the pen, so I'll put the pen in there, because I'll lose it, won't I? They can write their their things down and then I'll I'll keep the pen because they're very handy pens to have them. Right. So what we're doing now, we're gonna put that over there in the proper room. We've got your address, so I'll keep that separate. Uh, I don't know if you sent me your address, you might have done it online, I can't remember. Anyway, so I'll set that I'll set that up on here. I'll show you where we are here now. Obviously I'm a more and promenade. And, uh, I'm going to take you to this place and you'll see why I got that as you know hopefully I can film some things that I wouldn't normally be able to film so I'm going to cut this video in a minute and do the ending while I'm parked here right so you'll see the ending from here but you'll actually see me going on the bypass and showing you what I want to show you <coughs> but the end of this video will be me saying to her from this location right so I'm going to get this uh, camera on there and I'm going to show you where I am. So let's halt that. <whistles> oh God, you're cracking up, Smithy. Right. I'm Smithy. This has been me in a contiki. And as I said, I had to cut it forward because I wanted to show you what I've just shown you. Um, and I don't know what I've just shown you because I haven't got there yet to show you. I've just done the editing. So it's all fun, eh? We're having a laugh. We're out having a laugh today, that's what we're doing. We've had tea, we've had a brew, and I've just sorted a job out for two, and we're having a laugh. And everybody's staring at my camper and the one in front of me. So I'm going to turn this off, and... No, I'm not. Why would I turn it off? I'm saying to her, ah, that's what I'm doing. Right, and then I'm going to go out and show you these other things, so I haven't done it yet. Right, so anyway, I've been Smithy, this is a con ticket, and I forgot last time, right? Stay safe, be very, very lucky, and hey, I'm going to see you soon. That was cold. I've had to put a bit of music to it. I don't, I'm undecided whether I have put music to it or not. I'll, I'll play it back on the laptop and then we'll see because I could hear Morecambe's time and tide bell in the background. So if that's on this, I'll leave it. But it was a quite a long way in the distance. And uh, anyway, so that's where I am on the promenade. So I'm going to go for my walk now and I'm going to take you and uh, I'm going to show you. I didn't know I would do an ending holding the actual thing, but that's what we've done. Uh, so we've just had a bit of fun anyway. Right, so we're gonna, we're gonna go, I'm going to go for my walk and I'm going to film what I wanted to show you anyway on my walk, right? And uh, whew, talk about being windswept. But hey, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. I'll tell you what, we, we, you can tell that human beings are creatures of habit, right? Because if you walk down this promenade and have a look at some of these benches, you'll see flowers on some of them where that was like Bob's favourite spot and Mary used to sit here every day and, you know, that view is absolutely outstanding.
so I love it so much. Uh, but it shows you like some of the people that live across the road or a bit, you know, a bit away and come and they sit on the bench and they'll sit on the same bench. So we're creatures of habit. So that's why like the daughter or the son or their auntie or their uncle or brother or sister, whatever, can come and put a few flowers up and which is what people do. You know, this is, some of the benches are actually named to, to people, like dedicated to them anyway. So something to read, but uh, yeah, that view is uh, something else. Um, anyway, right, so I'm going to go for my walk and I'm going to I'm going to film what I wanted to show you, which I could only do with this camera. So there better not be any wind knocking out of my hand. I, I had to hold it with two hands there because it's, it gets quite heavy, believe it or not, when it's 10 foot long or whatever it is. It's three metres, three and a half metres long, this pole. Freezing now. I uh, what I wanted to show you. The car's coming. That's not what I wanted to show you. I'm windswept. <laughs> That's the M6, by the way. This is the bypass to Morecambe. What I wanted to show you is that because when you drive to Morecambe, you don't see that. Your passengers will. They'll say there's a river there, and you'll go past it at 50, 60 mile an hour. And while we've still got a bit of battery, I'll have a, I'll have a walk and talk. Uh, no harm in that. Oh. I can see frost on them hills. Uh, Kate and Littledale. I have to shout because you won't hear me. So I don't know if the screen's gone off because it's on the timer. Or the battery's gone. <laughs> uh, you know, in technology, fun, eh? Anyway, who cares? I'm talking to myself then if, if camera's not on. We're about to get some sunshine walking back to the van. Do you know, don't it make you laugh? All these wagons are going to turn into electric. I can see them breaking down all over the country. Or they'll have gener petrol generators charging them up. Anyway. Can you imagine? Come on, how much traffic is there? Can you imagine driving to a city? You've got 10% battery left in your, your new electric car. You can't find a parking space now. How are you going to find a parking space that's got a charger? I think it's all a joke, to be fair. Anyway, such is life. If you've got 30 grand for a car, you can have one. Uh, I would like to buy a second hand one, and you need a new battery for it. There'll be no second hand market for electric cars. Just a bit of my philosophy. Uh, Darren, uh, uh, Mr. Das P1. I hope I am not talking to myself, but anyway. Um, yeah, I sent you a message. You should email me your email address. My email is in the description. Uh, what I was thinking of, because it is a long way for you to cycle if, you, if that's what you're going to do with your mates. We'd arrange somewhere where you're just going on an ordinary bike ride and I'll just park up somewhere near, you know. Say hello and you can give me some pointers in the right direction for the old golf on in. I think you can push this button and see if it's still on. Oh, we are still on. I hope I haven't stopped it. I hope I'm not on time lapse or something stupid like that. Anyway, so we've done two things, haven't we? We've done the walk, which is what I wanted to do. And I wanted to show you that. 
I have photographed it, but do you know what? I forgot to get my phone out and take some pictures. But anyway, I have photographed it before, and uh, I think they were just for my own private collection, really. So I still have my other camera that, you know, I have one camera for videos, and my GoPro is a separate thing. And I have another camera for photographs. Um, oh. That's a biting Irish wind. Straight off the Irish Sea. Not to worry. I said before dinner, mad dog's an Englishman. Oh, let's uh, stick you out a bit more. That'll do. I, I wouldn't trust the battery, but if I had more, I would have gone down the, uh, the canal. Because I'm going to have to drive past it to get back to where I'm going. But anyway, getting blinded by the sun. I'll get some uh, vitamin D. So I don't know what all this traffic's doing. What are we on? 1941. So rush hour's gone hours ago. Oh God. This has been an accident. It's just been freed up on M6 and they're all coming at the same time. Anyway. So, that being said, if you see me again, you'll know I got across this road all right. And uh, I've been Smithy, I win Smithy in this Kentucky, and I forgot last time, so stay safe, be lucky, and I'm blinded, and I'll see you again. And now you know what you have to go through to make these videos. But it's all been fun. I saw a Kestrel on the way down, you know, I could have just pulled up and took some photographs of it. <laughs> Everybody flying past me, puffing their arms. Why are you going that fast? Where is it that you're going in a hurry like that? Anyway, right, I'm going. Another one, practice. Right, ta-da! Bye!